Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jake coming at you again from Thailand, Bangkok, Thailand. Happy Song Kran to everyone. For those of you who don't know, Song Kran is the Thai New Year, and it's a huge celebration that goes on for one week. Most of the schools and businesses are closed. Uh, more foreigners come in to celebrate. It's uh, kind of evolved into this huge water gun fight throughout the city so it um, is yeah six days long uh, today I've got a fun day plan I'm gonna go get some prayer flowers and make an offering at a temple before I go to uh, Siam Square where I know that there will be some early festivities going on I'm just gonna do a quick walk through I'm not trying to do an all-nighter um, nothing too crazy but I assume that I'm gonna get blasted by some uh, armed people I'm going in unarmed today I'm walking around the on station the on BTS station at the moment and I'm gonna go pick up some uh, prayer flowers to take to the temple the Wat, Wat Tat Tong temple near Ekamai so we'll start off our day. It's Song Kran, so uh, I'm gonna make a little offering and uh, move on to the more hostile areas where we may or may not get uh, shot with some some water guns. Yeah. Tell I noon crop. noon. for sale uh, they're marked up because it's the day of battle I'm going in as a conscientious objector I'm gonna be a pacifist today so we'll see how that goes I have a feeling uh, not well For those of you that don't know, Song Kran is the Thai New Year. So it's uh, also the hottest part of the year. So originally I think it was like a uh, tradition to you know, wash away uh, maybe some of your bad energy from the previous year, start new. And uh, within the last 20 years I think it's it's they still have that like spiritual component to it but they also have a huge uh water week-long water gun fight throughout the city now so that's what we'll be going to check out now
with the new year, obviously, uh, I'm noticing a big shift in people's energy and there's a, a lot more people out there making flowers and selling them on the streets for the offering for the new year. Um, I'm assuming it'll just be a week long. This is my first song cran. So all I know is what I've heard uh, from second hand. So I'm just experiencing it for the first time. But uh, yeah, it's cool to see everyone uh, getting their holiday mood going. Uh, most businesses and schools are closed this week. So my school included, we've got the week off. Um, so I'll be heading down to uh, an unnamed island here soon in the next two days. But for now, I'm uh, still here in Bangkok. This is uh, Wat Pat Thong Temple. This is kind of my neighborhood temple here. But uh, now we're gonna go check out Sea Loam and just see how dry we can stay without uh, being a threat to anyone. But I'm gonna walk through the thick of the battlefield if I can find it. I know that the busy time of Songkran starts at like 8, I'm told. Between 8 and midnight on uh, Khao San Road. So, uh, probably gonna avoid that mess. I've gotta do some packing. But we'll uh, we'll see what we can get into today. Objective for myself to go walk through all that unarmed. I got these really cool safety glasses. Uh, I guess some people have had some eye issues, but uh, here we go. the danger zone. <laughs> this is where people suffer the most casualties. This whole city is strapped right now. No 
mercy. No mercy. <laughs> Songkran, and that was uh, Siam, Siam, my bad, Siam for those that uh, are curious. Uh, I think originally I said I was going to Siloam, but I was wrong. So they're all hawking these glasses. Uh, I think I bought this for like $1.50, but uh, yeah, some people take face shots, and I guess there've been some like eye, eye problems. So if you can protect your eyes and your ears, I think that's a good idea. Two fifty for the two fifty for the big one. I gotta stay protected. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting blasted, dude. Oh man, there's no safe zone here. No ceasefire happening anytime soon. I think it's a week long deal. Oh shit. You'll just be like chilling and then there'll be like a, a just this tiny little stream on your neck. Um, so it looks like the prices are varying on game day. Those guns go for under a hundred baht on Lazada, uh, but on game day they're going for C uh, Roy baht, C Roy 400. Uh, the other one was Song uh, Roy Hasib, Song Roy Hasib. <laughs> oh fuck, man! I think this is a really fun uh, one-day deal, but man. I can see why people would uh, get a little burnt out on it for a whole week. On the cop. All smiles though, man. Here we got another temple over here. We'll see if we can find a safe zone. So guys, if any of you are wondering what the pouring of the water over the Buddha uh, symbolizes, it's just kind of a purification ritual. So it's about renewal and uh, kind of washing away um, any like bad energy from the previous year. Just kind of, you know, letting go of your past year, starting fresh, um, and it's. I see it throughout the year in Thailand, but definitely it's the it's way more popular during Songkran. So 
guys, it is 38 degrees Celsius here in Bangkok right now. And for my American homies out there, uh, it means it's like 100 degrees. And the RH, I would venture to guess, is around 90-ish. So kind of want to go run that water gauntlet again and uh, cool myself off. And then we're going to maybe go ahead to a uh, little watering hole I like and get a beer to uh, call it an early day before all the madness sets in. Like I mentioned, I have to pack a bunch of stuff. I'm starting a, another little trip tomorrow going... Um, to an island. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to mention the name of it or not. I don't really want to blow it up, but I'm heading there tomorrow morning. And uh, from there, I will be in uh, Samui for, for quite some time. So if there are anybody out there in Samui that would like to uh, go exploring, please reach out. But for now, we're just going to cruise back to the Anut area and see if I can find a um, nice place to get a beer with some ice in it. I gotta get battle ready. Saturday, April 13th. Oh, I don't 
Hello, hello. <laughs> Chilled out a little bit. Oh, I see. They've got unlimited ammunition here. That's what's going on. Oh, it says water withdrawal is prohibited. Please refrain from splashing water in this area. Yeah, good luck with that. waving the white flag. I'm gonna retreat, get back, see if I can get through unscathed. And, uh, get to, uh, <laughs> All right, one for the road. Okay, guys, after that successful trip into the belly of the beast, I'm gonna cool down here with a cold singa. Uh, hopefully my friends are working, we'll see. So again, it's Songkran and a lot of the businesses and bars tend to close. So the bar I wanted to go to is closed, but uh, I have a backup plan and it involves my trusty uh, neighborhood 7-Eleven. So I'm gonna go in there get one cool down beer and then I'm gonna call it an early day, do some packing and uh, I'm sure I'll get a dinner later on, but that'll be it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of the content and if you feel inclined, always like and subscribe. I'll be posting some videos from an island soon. So uh, if you're interested, uh, stay tuned. Thanks a lot, I appreciate you all. Have a good day. Those of you that know me know I don't like clowns, but I'm gonna give this guy some money because he's always working hard and it's hot out. Oh God. Fucking stuff of nightmares. Here we go. Oh shit, I forgot. It's not a purchasing hours you have to wait until what is it I think uh, seven five o'clock seventeen hundred oh well my pen I got my pen my guy kai dao song phone Song Pong. Uh, 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 chai. Ka, ka nam soda. Nam? Nam soda. Soda. Chai. No mercy. No mercy. <laughs>